Hello, Karina, darling. It's your favorite mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, hello, Jolie. To what do I owe this pleasure? Oh, nothing much. I'm not after anything. <laughs> I just wanted to catch up with my daughter-in-law. See how you're holding up. That's very kind of you, Jolie. I'm doing fine. Boss and I are swamped with renovating our house. We hope to be done by next summer, but until then, I'm going to wish that we are done tomorrow. Every night. Really? I'm dying to see the new place. I'll have to drop by for a visit. It's only a short two-hour flight away. We would love to have you over, Jolie. But right now, we're not in any shape to host anyone. We don't even have a decent living room. But everything is going smoothly. We have some stunning designs in mind. And Boston is thrilled to get back into carpentry. It's been ages since he could work with his hand after the accident. Oh, yes, the accident. The one where his hand was crushed by a golf cart. I still can't believe how he pulled that off. Neither can I. But, you know, when the boys get together, anything is possible. I'm thankful it wasn't worse. Although it did affect him for a while. But it's been six months. Sweetie, it's been almost a year. What? I had no clue that much time had flown by. But this whole renovation thing... Time just doesn't matter to me anymore, I suppose. Both a blessing and a curse. I just can't wait for our house to be finished and for us to be able to unwind and settle in here. If his accident was nearly a year ago, then we've been in the city for almost three years. That's insane. I know I was a bit worried when you told me that you were moving to a completely different state. I thought I had done something wrong and that you both were leaving me. No way, Jolie. We would never leave you. We just thought it was time to branch out on our own. And make our own mark in life. You know, it's so hard to change and be your own person when you live in the same place you always have. Well, I still don't think you had to leave the city for that, but I've accepted it. That's good. And once we're done with the house renovations, you can come and stay and we'll show you around the city. I guess it's not so new, is it? Yes, and by then I can meet my grandchild. What? Boston and I don't have a child. And I don't think we really have a plan to. Not anytime soon. So you're telling me that you don't have a spare room in the house? That can be a nursery? You haven't left any extra bedrooms or anything? Well, we have. By the end of this project, we'll have three rooms. But Boston and I are still far from having kids. Especially with where we're at in life. The renovation cost us an arm and a leg. Well, you know, you both have been married for five years. You're in your 30s already. I don't mean to be pushy, honey, but your biological clock is ticking. Well, a lot of women have children later in life. Healthy children. I'm sure that whenever Boston and I decide to start trying for children... We'll still have plenty of time on my so-called biological clock. Besides, wasn't it already proven that that was kind of a hoax? I mean, I get that women probably shouldn't have babies past a certain age because there's a higher health risk, but there are women in their 50s who give birth. That's ridiculous. I'll be dead and buried by the time you're in your 50s. You can't do that to me. That's not what I'm saying, Jolie. I would never want to have a child at 50, but I'm just saying that Boston and I will have a child when we're ready. Boston is my only child. The only chance I have of becoming a grandmother is you two. So you better get cracking. Making kids is the best part. Look, like I said before, Boston and I are not at that point. I mean, come on, we're renovating a house for crying out loud. It would be a terrible time to have a child right now. No worries. I'm sure that I'll have a grandchild before long. I've already started shopping for him or her. Hey, why stop at one? Have a bunch of little feet running around your new renovated house. Actually, Boston and I have talked about that. We think we only want one child. That way we can really devote ourselves to loving him or her with all our hearts. Well, I just can't support that. I think you both should reconsider. Karina, think about how I feel. You think we should think about your feelings when we're planning our family? 
Me and Boston, who will be the ones raising these imaginary kids? Well, of course I would help. I'm not a monster or anything. I would fly down, or heck, even move down and assist you with the children. I'm their grandmother, after all. I love them more than anything. And I don't doubt that you would. But again, Boston and I are still a few years away from having kids, so you might want to calm down. Well, you know what they say about a mother's intuition. I just have a gut feeling about these things. I know that you'll be pregnant any day now, and that will make everyone so much happier. We're already happy, Jolie. And I don't appreciate the way that you're implying that we're not happy right now. Besides, if we weren't happy, why would you want us to bring a kid into the picture? No, Boston and I are not ready to have kids anytime soon. So... Sorry that you've been dying to be a grandparent, but you're going to have to wait. This is Boston's and my decision, not yours. Don't you think that's a bit selfish? We don't know how much time I have left on this planet. You're only 55. You never know, Karina. Okay, Jolie, I would appreciate it if we ended this conversation. Now, I think your questions are really intrusive. And you're kind of forcing me to have children. I don't like that. Please respect my boundaries. I am forcing you to have kids. You really should have them now. In fact, I'll swing by the baby store today and buy you a nice little crib that should get you in the mood, right? What? No, that's not going to get anything started. All you're going to do is clutter your house with baby stuff. And that's not even necessary right now. Oh, trust me, they're going to be necessary. Don't you worry. For the last time, Boston and I are not close to having kids. And if you keep nagging us, we'll probably end up waiting even longer. Okay, I gotta go, darling. I'll send you a photo once I pick up the crib. Please don't, Jolie. Jolie, please don't buy us a crib. Hey, sweetie. Is everything all right? Of course it is. Why do you ask? No particular reason. You just seemed a little furious yesterday. Did I? Honey, you demolished that wall in like five minutes flat. I've never seen you yield a sledgehammer like that before. Maybe I just wanted the wall to come down sooner. Have you ever considered that? Something tells me that's not the whole story. So, are you going to spill the beans or am I going to have to pry them out of you? It's nothing, really. I feel a lot calmer now. Okay, that might be an understatement. I think I might have torn an arm muscle from the sledgehammer, but besides that, I'm fine, I swear. Come on, honey, you can confide in me. I'm your husband, after all. Whatever troubles you, troubles me. Maybe so, but I swear it's not a big deal. We don't need to dwell on it. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean what? Please talk to me or else I'm going to be anxious all day. Fine. Sorry. I just had a chat with your mother yesterday. Oh, no. What did she do? What did she say? Why do you assume it was her that did anything? Maybe I'm the one that messed it up. Yeah, I have a really hard time buying that. Knowing my mother, she definitely said something inappropriate. What did she say? Well, we kind of had a quarrel. You got into a quarrel with my mother? What about? I hope it wasn't about anything serious. It kind of was. I'm sorry. We were just talking and updating each other on the renovations. But then she kept asking me if we added extra rooms to the house. You know, for a baby. Well, technically we built the extra rooms for offices, but eventually the child. Whenever we had him or her. And that's what I said to her. But she really didn't like that answer. She's... Desperate to have a grandchild. She didn't say anything nasty about you, did she? Not really. She just implied that we were running out of time to have children. I told her how that whole biological clock nonsense was just that. Nonsense. But she was convinced that we were running out of time to have children. She was putting pressure on me to start having children and multiple children. She said that we were being really inconsiderate about her and her feelings. We were being inconsiderate about her feelings when it comes to us having a baby? 
She's not the one going to be raising the thing. Exactly. And I tried to explain that to her. But then she just went on and on about how she would help out and all these things. And now she's buying a bassinet. A what? It's like a baby thing. She said that she already bought some baby things. And now she's buying us a bassinet. Why would she do that? That's such a bizarre thing to do. Did you tell her that we're not planning on having a kid until at least a couple more years? I mean, we're not even done with our house renovation. We don't have a living room. That's exactly what I said. But she was really persistent. She's convinced that we're pregnant. We're about to be pregnant. We aren't, are we? Because if we are, that's awesome. But I'm going to feel like a real jerk for what I just said. No, we are not pregnant. Don't worry. But your mother is just convinced that we are going to be pregnant any day now. And that's why she's buying all these baby things. That's insane, right? Like, I'm not being a wimp or whatever by saying that's insane, right? No, definitely not. It is very insane. Do you think your mother is okay? Yes, maybe a bit crazy when it comes to grandchildren, but I'm sure she's fine. Why? Well, I don't want to alarm you, but I've heard about mother-in-laws being pushy for grandchildren. But I've never heard of mother-in-laws buying baby things in advance in order to speed things up or whatever. She's actually convinced that we already have a child, that we're just keeping a grandchild from her or something. Well, I mean, you said it yourself. She's really desperate about having a grandchild. Maybe that's messing with her head or something. Yeah, maybe. Or it could just be sheer excitement at the prospect of having a grandchild. I don't know. Maybe I'm making a big deal out of it. I'm sure my mother is fine. Delusional, but fine. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, it's not rare for a mother-in-law to be keen on being a grandparent. But you don't think this has anything to do with her losing her husband, your dad, right? That was ages ago. I'm sure it has nothing to do with that. It was only seven years ago. You say that, like, seven years is a short time. Yeah, I guess it is a long time. But grief does strange things to people. When my grandma left her husband, she started collecting clocks and would just watch time pass by. It was like... She got angry with it. I mean, I was just a kid when it happened, but it was still odd enough to leave its impression on me, apparently. It's nice that you're worried, but I know my mother. I'm sure she's fine. Okay, but maybe let's not be angry at her for this and keep talking to her. I'm on your side, honey. Thank you. I love you. I love you more, honey. Hi, Karina, dear. What kind of food do you think the baby will enjoy? I'm at a bulk store, and they've got this amazing deal for these huge packets of baby food. What? What kind of food does the baby prefer? I was thinking I could send it as a care package. You know, a little something from Grandma. Julie, I don't understand what you're up to. I just told you, silly. I'm buying food for the baby. I mean, they're already at that food stage, aren't they? I could have sworn they were. Okay, Jolie, if this is some twisted scheme in order to get me to agree to have children before I'm ready, then it's not working. I hate to break it to you. Okay, maybe I'll just get a few different packages. It'll be good for the baby to try different foods, you know. Make sure they get all the nutrients. It'll be great. Your mailing address is still the same, right? I wouldn't want this going to the wrong place. Of course, it's the least I can do. I want to be the best grandparent in the world. And I am so sure that you will be. But you really don't need to do this. I mean, you already bought a bassinet and baby clothes. From what I understand, you don't need to keep buying these things. It will still be a long time. Nonsense. I want to support you in Boston as best as I can. We don't need your support. This feels really underhanded. You're really trying to force this, aren't you? Well, not anymore. I'm drawing a line. Against the grandparent? 
ridiculous. You can't do that to me. It will be a line between the two of us. No, actually, it will be a line between Boston and I and you. You cannot keep up with this whole thing. It's not good for anyone. Only upsets me. I know that you really want to be a good grandparent, and I know that you will be one eventually, but that is not now. This is not how. Whatever do you mean? This is the only way I know how. I mean, I live in a different city, unless you want me to come over. No, our house isn't ready. You know, you should really get on that. Do you have anywhere to store this baby food? I know that the living room is out of order, but your kitchen still works fine, right? Do not send this baby food. It isn't going to help. We don't need it. What? That's nonsense. Everyone needs baby food. How else do you think a baby will grow? By the time we get around to even using it, it'll probably be spoiled. No, not these. They last a long time. They're sealed in these little glass bottles. It's better for your baby. Okay, Jolie, you really need to respect my boundaries. And I put up with you. Please, stop this. I'm only concerned. Honey, I don't understand why you're snapping at me for that. I want to be the best grandparent. And you will be, but just not right now. What are you doing with the baby? What? What are you doing with the baby? Do I need to be worried? No. I already explained that to you. Everything will happen at Boston's and my time. You can't just force me to be normal. Force a baby? I don't know what you're plotting, but I don't like the sound of it. Just take the baby food. No, we're not going to take it. And I'll just go to base. You're giving me a lot to be concerned about, I'll have you know. You have me sick with worry, and it's my right as the grandparent, so don't try anything. I thought the whole point of this conversation was that you wanted us to try something? How dare you put words into my mouth? I would never. Jolie, are you okay? I will be soon enough. Again, Boston and I are still going away. Nothing you say or do will stop us. We'll see about that. Hey, darling. I have a strong feeling that one of us should book a flight and go see your mother as soon as possible. What? What's the reason for that? Oh no, don't tell me you had another argument with her. What did she accuse you of this time? It's not really about her words. It's more about her actions. She's been ordering massive amounts of baby food online and planning to ship them to our address. I think that she's completely out of touch with reality. I'm very worried. Are you kidding me? Why on earth would she do that? I mean, she knows very well that we're still trying. You made it very clear to her that last time you talked. I know. Maybe it's some kind of bizarre coping mechanism. She believes that if she sends us all these baby products, it will somehow make us have a baby sooner. I don't know. She just sounded off. You know, maybe you're right. We haven't seen her in a while. We should pay her a visit and also make sure she's okay. How does that sound? Yes, I would love that. I just can't wrap my head around where this is coming from. It was so unexpected. I mean, I always knew that she was desperate to have grandchildren. She even started bringing up the topic of us having kids, not even a year after we started dating. Well, I think she was feeling lonely then. My father had only died a couple of years before. Yeah, but what's triggering this now? I'm really concerned about her. Maybe you should try to have a conversation with her. She might be more receptive to her son than to her daughter-in-law. I wish she would be more respectful to her daughter-in-law. You're much more rational than I am, and sensible and beautiful. You're really flattering me, and I appreciate it. But she's been your mother for much longer than she's been my mother-in-law. I'm sure that she would listen to you. If you insist, maybe I will give her a ring. Are you on your way back from the store? Yep, I just grabbed some coffee. I really needed a drink after dealing with your mother this morning. But the lumber yard said our wood should be ready for the same. Okay, awesome. I'll give my mother a brief phone call. 
Maybe ask her if we can stay with her for a bit, just to check on her. Yes, please. I'm really anxious about her. I'm sure she's fine. And she's probably just going through a rough phase or something. I sincerely hope so. Let me know what she says we'll do. What the hell do you and Boston think you're doing? You're acting like you're concerned about me. I'm the one who's concerned about you and what you're doing to my precious grandchild. Jolie, what are you ranting about? Is everything okay? Well, clearly not, since the phone call with Boston ended so badly. Are you trying to make light of this whole situation? It's absolutely absurd. I'm disgusted by you two. What are you talking about? I'm totally clueless right now. What do you mean? You can't tolerate us and what we're doing? Well, first you wanted to take my grandchild away from me and rob them of their grandparent. That's nothing less than child abuse. Now you're not even feeding them adequately? You rejected my food because he said it would spoil by the time you use it. Do you have any clue how much babies eat? How much they need to eat? Whoa, Jolie, what are you talking about? I've called CPS on you. You're doing a horrible job as parents to my grandkids. I don't even have a kid. Huh? Of course you do. Are you trying to deceive me or something? You and Boston need to be punished. CPS is on its way. I already notified Boston. You can't call CPS on us. We don't have any children. We had this conversation just a few days ago. You wanted us to have children, but Boston and I are not ready. We're waiting. And now I'm really concerned about you. You're concerned about me? I'm concerned about that kid that you're concealing in there and neglecting. And you're renovating your house. That's no place to raise a child. I thought I raised Boston better than that. Okay, Jolie, I'm sure that Boston is already dealing with it, but we're going to go call someone to check on you. I think there's something seriously wrong with you. No, I'm the only one here who's sane. You can't treat a child the way that you've been treating my grandchild. Jolie, for the last time, we don't have any kids. I think you've had some kind of a mental breakdown or something. Who's at my door? Oh my god, it's the police! They're probably here to take my statement about everything I've uncovered about you and Boston as parents. No... I'm pretty sure your son just sent them to do a welfare check on you. Please, open the door. With pleasure? At least I know that they won't lie to me. You know, it was Boston's father and my dream to have grandchildren. Even when Boston was just a baby. We were so ecstatic at the thought of having grandchildren as well. And you're taking that away from me? How dare you? Is that what this is about? Jolie... I'm so sorry, but I really think you need to talk to the police. I will. And just wait until CPS gets a grip on you. Okay, Jolie, Boston and I are going to come and stay with you for a little while. We can put the house renovations on pause, Jolie. Boston and I are on our way. It turns out that Jolie had suffered a minor mental breakdown. The psychiatrist assured me that she would recover soon and that it was caused by the stress of her life in the city. When we found out about her condition, Boston and I decided to have her stay with us for some time. At least we have the rooms finished. We might not have a living room or a basement and only one bathroom, but we thought it was best if she stayed with us for a while. Julie is doing a lot better now and we're happy to have her around. However, despite everything that happened, she's still very adamant that we start having our children right away. We've just learned to go along with it. Eventually, we will have kids, but it will be in our own time. In the meantime, Jolie can wait patiently with us. <laughs>